Hi, Elaine here. Today, I'll be showing you how to use a great free app to quickly and easily make a High Sierra boot disc for your Mac. It's always good to plan to be prepared for disaster and never more so than when it comes to your computer and step one of that is creating an emergency boot disc for your Mac. There are several ways to make a boot disc, but using DiscMaker 10 is one of the most hands-off, for which read, terminal free, ways of doing it and that's the way I'll be showing you. As with previous versions of OS X and macOS since Lion in 2011, macOS High Sierra is available only as a download from the Mac App Store. It's a free update, so simply a matter of downloading it from the store. It will be downloaded to your Applications folder and it will automatically be run from there. There's one thing to be aware of though. As soon as it's installed from your Applications folder, it will be deleted. Unceremoniously and without warning, it will just disappear. You can re-download it, but obviously that takes time and it takes bandwidth. So you have a couple of options. Number one. Stop the automatic install and make a boot disk before it gets deleted. Or two, and better still, make a copy of the installer in another location for future use. Now DiscMaker 10 or DiscMaker X is available from DiscMakerX.com. It's a free app, although they do accept donations should you find it useful. So download it and install it and you'll be good to follow along. I'm recording this on the day High Sierra was released, and while there is a version of DiscMaker 10 that is compatible with it and available from the website, that website does not make a big show of it right now. Scrolling down though, there is a direct link to download a version to create a boot disk for Mac OS High Sierra. So with the Mac OS High Sierra installer downloaded from the Mac App Store and DiscMaker 10 installed, we're ready to roll. So run DiscMaker, and you'll be prompted to select the installer to use to create your boot disk. As I've said, by default, macOS High Sierra is downloaded to your Applications folder, but it doesn't need to be in that location for the following process to work. In fact, best practice would be to move the installer to a different location rather than let macOS delete it from the drive after installation. I used to move my copy to the desktop so I could see it and be sure that it wouldn't be deleted after installation. But, and this is a big but, since I've now enabled iCloud Drive desktop and documents folders, this means that all the contents of those folders, my desktop and my documents, synchronize across all my Macs. And I don't want my macOS High Sierra installer at almost 7 gig transferred up to iCloud. So now I would choose a different and most importantly, local folder for that installer. But wherever it is, DiscMaker should find it in the location that you've selected. If DiscMaker can't find the installer or you would like to use a different version from the one that it does locate, just use the Use Another Copy button and select the installer that you require. The next step is to select the drive or device to be used as the basis of your installer. And the minimum you are going to require is an 8 gig USB stick. But be aware, not all USB sticks are made equal by which I mean some are actually unable to be used to boot your Mac. If you have a problem, the easiest option is to try a different USB stick. You also have other options as this dialog box mentions. The use another kind of disk option will enable you to select a different type of disk entirely. And what that means is taking a larger disk and partitioning it and installing different OS X or Mac OS versions into each partition. It's the kind of thing a geek does. And yes, I've got one of those hard drives as well. Next, you'll need to select the disk that you want to use as your boot disk. And DiscMaker will display all the disks it finds. You just need to select the one you want. In this case, my pen drive is helpfully called pen drive, so that's the one I'll use. A rather scary dialog box is next, warning you the disk that you've selected is about to be erased. Confirm that this is the correct disk, and then it's simply a matter of clicking the erase, then create the disk button and waiting for the process to complete. You're warned to expect to be prompted to enter an administrator password next. And when you are, confirm that you wish to continue. 
Then DiskMaker starts copying files. Now this can take a while. It's going to depend on the speed of your machine and the speed of the drive that you've selected. When the copying is complete, the installer is displayed in the Finder window. Now don't miss the rather alarming roar when the job finishes. I know I didn't and it was rather alarming as I wasn't expecting it. Are you ready? Yes, that's the indication from DiskMaker that you're done. Now it's not a complicated process to undertake manually, but you might as well save any time that you can, all the better spent investigating the new options available in macOS High Sierra. So let's recap. Download macOS High Sierra from the Mac App Store. Make a copy of the installer and leave that somewhere safe. Then download and install DiskMaker from DiskMakerX.com. Make your disk. And it's always a good idea to check your boot disk works by booting to it. You don't want the first time you find out it's not working properly to be when you need it. Well, I hope that helps you. And if you want new tutorials and tips and tricks on a regular basis, check out my free training at elainegiles.com VIP. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I always appreciate it when you share it with your friends. If you have any requests for specific tutorials, be sure to contact me. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.